Right, this is my number four Mark One, 303 calibre rifle. Got the original sling and bayonet there, spike type bayonet, which locks onto the front. This particular weapon uh, is made by Long Branch, so it's a Canadian gun. It was made in 1943. So it hasn't got matching numbers as such. The uh, the woodwork and the receiver match, but the bolt doesn't. So don't know if you can see that, but number four Mark One Long Branch 1943. So a World War II date gun, uh, and used by the Canadians. It's got like a ribbed top cover there, protected foresight. Ten round magazine. So the magazine's removable. Press that clip, magazine drops out. I think generally the magazine was loaded for the top here in terms of charging two five round stripper clips into the magazine and uh, locking it home and uh, rocking and rolling. It's got uh, two sight apertures, one is uh, 300 meters and the other is 600 meters. They're the only two sight ranges on that. That's the safety, you pull that back, locks the weapon entirely. Forward is, uh, is the go position. Now, what's interesting about this? Um, not only has it got the uh, the bent down receiver, uh, the bent down bolt, which, like I explained before, it makes a lot more of an easier bolt throw. But um, this is a cock on close weapon. I you open the bolt and it doesn't cock. Eject the spent round, and here it stops slightly as a bit of resistance. You push that forward and down, and it sets the striker into the locked position which really makes for a speedy bolt throw now whoever's heard of a, a, a Lee Enfield type rifle will know or have heard of the mad minute so um, it's really it's quite complicated to do actually so the the actual theory behind it is is that you use your middle finger to fire the weapon while you rack the weapon with your index finger and your thumb so try it at home if you've got one. If you uh, if you practice it a couple of times, it's actually quite easy to do. But that's how you achieve the mad minute and really get a lot of rounds downrange quickly. The fact that it's a ten round uh, gun is made it really sort of uh, advantageous over its competitors in World War Two. So they say the three bolt action, the, the three best bolt action rifles in the world can can be categorised as such. So the Lee Enfield here or the a Long Branch 303 rifle was the best combat bolt action rifle ever made. The K98 was the best hunting rifle ever made, based on its action, all that sort of stuff. And then the American Op 3 Springfield was the best target gun ever made, bolt action. But in terms of combat rifles, the speed of the bolt throw, the size of the round, and the number of rounds you can hold and throw down range, this was pound for pound the best bolt action rifle of its time. And actually, a real Rolls Royce example of of a weapon of its time. So the British guys at the time would have been really proud, and the, and, and and the Canadians and the Australians for that matter um, would have been really proud to carry this. It's got such an advantage over the K98 in terms of speed and rounds it holds. It really gave an advantage in in in, in combat. It's got a webbing type sling, like a khaki colour. Now this particular sling I bought separate to the piece and it's all weathered away and battered and that's how I like it to be honest. I like my weapons and the accessories to really feel like it's been through the war. I've got the bayonet there, so the bayonet's a spike type bayonet. If I can just get that up close. So um it's a spike bayonet, so there's no blade to it whatsoever. Now I don't know if that was intentionally done like that, or if it's a manufacturing thing. I you can churn them out a lot quicker than sort of sharpen a bayonet. But I think the nickname for this is a, is a pig sticker. It's got the same effectiveness as stabbing like like an enemy or whatever. It would still maim them. Um, but like you say, it's a spike. Now I don't know why the British and the Canadians went for that. Other basically over everyone else of the time was using blade bayonets. But you know, it's, it seems effective enough. I'll show you how it locks onto the weapon. It goes over the edge there, rotate it, and lock it in. And away you go. Like I say, uh, the, the numbers underneath, if you can make that out, correspond with the, uh, the receiver, but don't match the bolt. 
and that is my Long Branch 303 number 4 Mark 1 1943 thank you for watching